Hello curious minds. What if I told you there was a star so massive, so powerful, that it literally feeding on itself? Meet the Quasi-Star, a cosmic giant that might hold the secrets to the universe's biggest mysteries. Quasi-stars are thought to have existed only during the earliest days of the universe, billions of years ago. They are thought to have formed when a star's mass reached at least 1,000 times the mass of our sun. Picture this, a star, but not just any star. We're talking about a titan, up to 10,000 times the mass of our sun. To give you a sense of scale, quasi-stars would be up to 10 billion kilometers in radius. So, if a quasi-star were to replace our sun, its outer layers would engulf Neptune's orbit, and stretch far beyond the entire solar system as we know it. But when their cores collapse under their own gravity, here's where things get really interesting. Unlike ordinary stars powered by nuclear fusion in their cores, quasi-stars harbor a dark secret, literally, a black hole at their very center. Now you might be thinking, wouldn't a black hole just swallow the star whole? And you'd be right to think so. But here's the catch, quasi-stars exist in a delicate balancing act between creation and destruction. We'll break this down later. Though we've never seen one, scientists theorize that quasi-stars might be the missing link explaining how supermassive black holes formed so early in the universe. The early universe was a wild place. Back then, the universe was filled with incredibly dense clouds of hydrogen and helium gas, the building blocks of stars. So, stars were forming at a breakneck pace and some of them, well, they got a little carried away, accumulating mass at an astonishing rate. These massive stars lived fast and died young, collapsing under their own gravity. So how did these supermassive stars become quasi-stars? Well, it all starts with an enormous gas cloud, much larger than the ones that form stars today. When this cloud collapsed, it formed a protostar, a cute baby star. But here's the twist. If the protostar's mass was enormous, around 10,000 times the mass of our sun, something extraordinary happened. The pressure and heat in the core were so intense that the protostar's inner regions couldn't sustain nuclear fusion like normal stars. Instead, the core collapsed further, forming a black hole. Now, you'd think the black hole would just devour the surrounding star, right? Well, not right away. Let's dive into the physics that makes them tick. Quasi-stars exist in a delicate balance between two incredibly powerful forces, gravity and radiation. The star's massive size means that gravity is pulling inward with enormous force, trying to collapse everything into the black hole at the core. But there's something fighting back. As the black hole forms at the center, it starts feeding on matter from the surrounding star. As this matter falls in, it heats up to extreme temperatures, releasing incredible amounts of energy in the form of radiation. This energy makes pressure and pushes outward, holding the outer layers of the star in place, just long enough for the quasi-star to exist for brief moment in cosmic sense. This tug-of-war between gravity and radiation is what keeps the quasi-star from collapsing all the way into the black hole. At the same time, the accretion disk around the black hole emits powerful radiation and X-rays. This radiation is what makes quasi-stars shine so brightly, but also what keeps their outer layers from collapsing entirely. The balance between these forces is precarious. Eventually, the radiation from the black hole can't hold the outer layers in check, and the quasi-star will collapse entirely. Now you might be wondering what's the big deal with quasi-stars? Well it turns out they might hold the key to understanding the origin of one of the universe's most mysterious and powerful objects, supermassive black holes. Now supermassive black holes are some of the largest objects we know. They sit at the centers of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way. These black holes can be millions or even billions of times the mass of our sun. But here's the puzzling part. Astronomers have found evidence of supermassive black holes that formed incredibly early in the universe's history, just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. So how did they form so quickly and how do these supermassive black holes get so big? It's like a cosmic chicken and egg problem. Black holes grow by devouring matter, but they need a lot of matter to grow supermassive. And in the early universe, there simply wasn't enough time for black holes to grow to these monstrous sizes through conventional means. That's where quasi-stars come in. The massive energy released by quasi-stars in their short, intense lives could have been a major driving force in the formation of supermassive black holes. These stars were not just feeding their black holes in the center, they were supercharged engines constantly churning out matter and energy, creating conditions that may have allowed these black holes to grow rapidly. While quasi-stars themselves didn't last long enough to be observed directly, the evidence we do have about the formation of supermassive black holes suggests that they could have played a crucial role in the early universe. And there you have it, the mind-blowing story of quasi-stars, cosmic giants that may have paved the way for the supermassive black holes we see today. 
We've journeyed to the edge of our understanding, exploring the extreme physics that govern these celestial behemoths and their potential role in shaping the universe as we know it. But what do you think? Could studying these mysterious objects unlock even more secrets about the universe? Could they hold the key to understanding the origin of everything we see around us? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cosmic curiosities. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep looking up.